so this is a very steep downhill course that I accomplished last week with a ground vehicle that I'm doing absolutely terrible <laughs> at showing you now. It is a very intricate and very long downhill course that I want to try to repurpose into a gliding course. Now, um, the rules of this are going to be a little bit weird because if it's a gliding course, why not just, you know, glide above everything and not have to deal with it? But it's not going to be that easy because there are some tunnels that you pretty much have to go through because gliding over it is just going to be clearly cheating. The fact that this course is pretty much like a 45 degree angle downwards. And here, just in case you don't believe me, this is me standing on the course. My character is vertical. The course is like 45 degrees down. Um, but because it goes down so steeply, I feel like if I built a gliding car, it wouldn't be that hard to maintain flight going down the course. Do I have to go underneath here in order to glide this course, or am I allowed to go up here as well? I don't really know. I guess I'll gauge the difficulty, and if this seems impossible to make it down the bottom here, maybe I'll just give myself a little bit of a break on parts like that and let myself go out over the top, because... I want to at least complete the course, hopefully. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I do. I do know what to expect. I'm expecting a really, really rough time. So these are the ground rules I'm going to set for myself as I build this. It is going to be a gliding car because I am going to have to get... I am going to have to drive myself off of the initial drop to start with. But other than engines for my wheels, no aerial engines allowed. No thrusters, no propellers, nothing like that. So it is going to be 100% gravity driven once we're in the air. That's pretty much the only rule I'm gonna start with. Let's let's just see what happens. And of course, this is gonna be evolution style, so as I test out the build and find its weaknesses, I am going to try to evolve it to be better fit for the environment here. And um, hopefully by the end of this, I'll have a really functional glider that I can just zoom through the whole course, no problems at all. After just seeing this initial section looks like one of the hardest sections, to be honest. All right, I think first generation of my glider is ready, completely untested don't know what my center of lift center of mass is even gonna be like it looks a little back heavy which might be a problem but uh let's start gliding and see what happens okay so far so far not bad really not bad actually wow i was not expecting this thing to glide so smooth oh boy all right yeah see like parts like this are gonna be extremely tough ow ow okay not off to a group well Actually, I was just saying off to a great start. I actually think that was a pretty great start. I just gotta... That was my first time controlling this thing, so I just gotta uh, get more used to it, I think. There is something I was considering adding, but I'll see if it comes... I'll see how crucial it is later. Um, and that is air brakes. I don't know if I'm gonna want to slow myself down in the air at all yet. All right, come on. Lift up. Lift up. There we go. All right, man. This thing is surprisingly stable. Just right off the bat. No adjustments needed so far. All right, let's see here. Yeah, see, navigating these tough corridors... I'm right... Oh! Oh, that was rough. Yeah, that being the first thing I have to do is surprisingly um, high difficulty for a glider compared to a car. The car, I can control my speed. It's just like I just drive nice and casually around them. On a glider, it's a bit of a different story here. And even with the like the speed I'm going right now is kind of the speed I want to be at. Anything slower than this, if I add air brakes, might uh, might be hard to stay up in the air. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh boy, I don't know what to do here. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. I didn't know if I wanted to go under or over. I think I can go over that stuff. But hold on, let me let me try to plan out my route here. I think coming over on the right side here is gonna be ideal. Maybe I can go like over these, and I might be able. I just I think I might be able to pull this off. Actually, let me see if my glider fits. I didn't think about size. Oh yeah, it fits. It's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be possible. Let's see how we do here. This I am gonna go over those. I don't even know what these things are, but these things. All right, now for this really tough choke point. Oh, that explodes. Okay, you know what? Since I'm probably gonna need it at some point, let me try to add the air brakes now. All right, here we go. Got the air brakes added. Let's see. Oh, come on, lift up, lift up. Let's see how they work. Let's get some speed first. All right, we're going like 80. Then I add the air brakes. And, oh yeah, look at that. It does, it, it's a little bit of a delayed reaction, more than I was hoping for. And I'm totally going on the wrong side of this, I think. Yep. Okay, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, because we have the, uh, we got the, uh, the things over here. Oh no. 
All right. You know what? I'm just going over there. I'm still in between. I'm still here. I don't know if that counts. I'm going to let it count, though. At least for now. I'll try to do it. I'm, I know I'm going to mess up this run anyway, but I'll try to do it on the next run to go underneath that little archway there. At least now I can get some practice with the rest of this course. Okay, here we go. So, I got some interest. I'm going to go, I'm going to go in the, in the skinny section right here. Kind of already at that height. Don't got to do much for it. You know, I'm just feeling kind of confident. Let's go through here too. All right, we got some stunts going on now. It's kind of fun. It feels like I'm going just on a flat course, but uh, I'm totally falling. Like th this course is down at 45 degrees. I forgot this was the piston section. I totally forgot this was the piston section and there's a piston. There's two pistons in the ceiling. I didn't even know there was, did I know that there was two up there? I don't remember two. Okay, so I gotta be careful with this section again. And then I'm gonna have to get down through there. And then, oh, this might be a tough part. I don't know if you guys remember, if you saw the last video, there is a loop here and I'm supposed to use this loop to drive up the walls. So I actually gotta be able to gain altitude over here. Good. Go up over this. Oh boy. I actually made it. I actually made it through there. Okay. I'm gonna consider that an accomplishment. I don't know if I want to put myself through that every single time I restart, but at least that time I did it. All right, I'll go this way. Let's go. Ooh, oh, that scared me. Okay, I gotta go under here. And now, can I gain enough altitude? <gasps> this is not gonna be easy. Please. Oh, it looks like I got it. It looks like I got it. It's so disorienting, the uh, the angle of this. Wait, what? I don't know what happens now. Oh, this part's gonna be interesting. I'm supposed to do a loop here with the car, but it looks like I can just... Man, I am so happy that there's such a steep angle to this because I would not be able to gain that altitude if this was a slighter slope. Oh, this is a fun section, isn't it? Oh, how cool would it be to go through one of the eyes of that skull? I don't know if I can fit though, so I'm not gonna risk it. Let's just, no, I think my wings are too wide. Yeah, my wings are definitely too wide to fit through there. That's unfortunate. That would have been a cool stunt. All right, this is actually turning out pretty well right now. Don't know what obstacles I really have to worry about after this section. Everything, oh, thin section here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I think I got this. All right, it's not as bad when you're up close to it. Looks worse from farther away. All right, now I'm pretty sure with there's hydraulic presses up here, but I'm pretty sure they don't get triggered unless you're close to the bottom, like the X. But I'm gonna try not to purposely test that theory. <laughs> Let's just go through it this way. This is actually, is this turning out easier than I thought? After the, it's kind of weird. It has a reverse difficulty almost. The beginning section is one of the hardest sections now and the end section is actually one of the easier sections so far. All right, what do we got going on? I think I'm almost there, guys. I was so close. I was so close. I got too close to the X. I can't believe that I had it in the bag. After this part, I'm pretty sure it goes straight to the ending. Oh. Oh, man. All right, so I think the higher I stay off of the ground, the less likely I am to trigger the hydraulic press, even if I go directly underneath it. I have to lower my altitude right after this section. But let's avoid the big hydraulic presses here. Oh, I chose the wrong side. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this section actually does look kind of tough. Oh, man, it's like a narrow hallway. Oh, this section's tougher than I thought. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. I think I'm home free. I got to go through the hoop of fire, though. I want to make myself go through that hoop of fire. And that's the end right there. Please don't mess this up now. This is like the easiest part. I think. I hope. Why do I feel like I, I'm not... No. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. What's wrong with this section? What's different? It levels out? No! I was right at the end. It's literally right up there. Oh, that is why. 
Look at the angle of the road coming down to the hoop of fire. So it literally levels off there. So we have to, we have to overshoot that. Okay. All right, I can do it. Not good. Oh, no. Gliding. Oh, I am going to make the wheels detachable. So as soon as I get off the ground, uh, no more wheels. All right, let's see how this affects my flight. There we go. All right, I definitely already feel faster. Break time. Okay, let go of the brakes. Oh, this is good. This is good. I feel like I actually have more control over what I'm doing. No! I'm gonna move this engine to up here in the nose. All right, definitely gotta slow down on this part here. Oh, so smooth. The braking just makes a world of difference if you have that reaction time. Go down, pull up. Ooh, that was rough. For some reason, pitching down is tough when I have the brakes on. Let's be probably because my, uh, my brake fins. <gasps> oh no! All right, there we go. I've moved my brake fins down a little bit. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, oh, I don't think I can get off the ground. Ah, oh, that's a failure. Dang. All right, turn, lift up, lift up. Oh man, I can't. All right, we're off, we're off again. Gonna concentrate. Breaking a little bit. Okay, up. This is the toughest part right here. No! Oh, 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 no, I'm good, I'm good. I recovered, I recovered. It's tough, when I hit the ground like that, sometimes I can't get off the ground. But I was able to do it that time. All right, now let's see if I can get underneath here. This transition's really tough. I'm trying to go like the full part of this course. Oh, I almost hit my tail. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, no, I'm good. I'm good now. I think. I think I'm good. Yes, yes, I'm good. Okay. All right, we're definitely faster. That's could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. That was almost the end. That was almost the end of me right there. Okay. It should be relatively easy sailing from here to the end until near the end. Yeah, the skull part's gonna be pretty simple, I think. I could make it harder on myself. <laughs> I don't know if I want to though with how it's been going. I'll take some slight risks, though. I'm not nearly as confident as I was a couple runs ago. Or more than a couple runs ago when I actually made it closer to the end. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll go underneath this one over here, too, maybe. Oh boy, I'm feeling shaky. Alright, yeah, there we go. There we go. Everything's good so far. Everything's good so far. Just not hit the roof. Okay, all good. Okay, now the hydraulic press section. And then that last section before it opens up is actually really tight on the wingspan. All right, this part's going well. All right, gonna go left side this time. Yes, good. All right, gotta lower my altitude a little bit. Here we go, it's gonna get tight up. <gasps> oh, I thought my tail was gonna clip that and break off. Okay, there we go. So now, I don't know if I can get through that hoop of fire and make it over at the same time, unless I do a dive. This might, this might work. I really wanna get through the hoop of fire because I feel like that's a legit end to this, you know? All right, and then pull up, but now I'm, oh. Oh, that worked this time. Oh. I just did it. Flawless run. I mean, not necessarily flawless, but no deaths. 
I had that little bit of a shakiness where I hit the ground going through the tube, but I feel like that's forgivable, right? To be honest, this didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it was going to. I thought it was actually going to be a lot harder than it ended up being. I guess I built a pretty good glider. So this was inspired by your suggestions in the comments from the last downhill video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff that you can find on the end screen right here. Check out the description if you want to see the previous downhill version with a land vehicle, which was a lot harder. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.